Hi, this is just an example on how to identify the uh, the pins on your seven segment displays. So here's a uh, generic seven segment display, and you notice that there's there's six pins on the side here, and there's, there'll be some on the other side as well. Uh, basically, segment displays uh, each segment is identified with a letter A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, and you have your decimal place. And going into the data sheet, which you should be able to get from whoever you brought brought them from. It'll uh, give a description of which pin is pin 1 and so forth. So starting from pin 1 here, pin 1 will turn on G and in this case G is the center bar. Another way to find out is to simply wire it up and see what, what pins turn on which segments. Remember that each segment is simply an LED and they do need some sort of current limiting device. In this case I'm using 470 ohm resistors and using 5 volts to drive it. So if I was to connect up this single line here and simulate it, you can see that, that that pin controls that segment. So if I wanted to draw the number 3, I'm going to turn on each of these segments, leading all the way around. And I'm going to skip these two on the side and do the last one, which would be the, the segment in the middle. And it's as easy as that. Just remember when you are wiring it up that in my software, my library, uh, port whatever port you specify, pin 0 will actually be the top segment and then pin 1 will be the following segment going clockwise around all the way through to pin 6 which will be the center segment because here you can see this is how I encode this, the segment data. I extract the, uh, the digit for a specific place and create the relative uh, data required to show a 0, 1, 2, 3. So if you don't wire it up the same, you won't get uh, any logical type output onto the segment displays. Hope that's helped somebody out.